Hello everybody, it's Daniel from Wines by Jennifer and I'm here with Julio from Morris Farms. We tried through the lineup today, some fantastic stuff and I just want to take a minute since you guys will be trying it to let him introduce a little bit about the wines and tell you about the name as well. So. Julio, first I uh, just want to uh, ask you, because Morris Farms is not okay. Italian and you are very Italian, so, and this so is where does the name come from? Uh, this is why I have to travel uh, to explain exactly the name. Morris is my family, and my, fa my mother last name is a family last name. My family uh, is, uh, ori is originally from Spain. They came from Spain more than 200, 300 feet. 250, 300 years ago, okay. and uh, they li we live now in Tuscany since generation. The company is owned by six siblings, three brothers and three sisters, and one of my uncle lives in San Francisco. In 1971, he loved so much USA that he decided to create the company with an English name, Morris Farms, with this at the end because we own two different estates, both located in Tuscany, in the southwest part of Tuscany, uh, but both uh, directly by me and my cousin. So it's a family business with a Spanish last name and an English name for the company, but trust me, we do Italian wines with passion since generation. We focus first of all with the Sangiovese in the red wines, and uh, it's the most typical grape uh, in uh, Tuscany, the base of all the Chianti, of all the Brunello. People sometimes are scared of knowing my wines uh, because uh, the name doesn't sound so familiar. It's not so common uh, when you speak about the Chianti or Brunello, you are for sure more familiar. And this is why I'm here to introduce wines from a different sub-region of Tuscany that are easily competitive uh, and a great result uh, compared to uh, the big famous name uh, usually drunk uh, for here in the state uh, from the Tuscany region. Morelino di Scansano is an appellation that exists since 1978 and uh, as Vecchianti, as a Brunello is based on Sangiovese. Then we blend with the 10% of other grapes to make it more complex and interesting. But uh, first of all we use the same Sangiovese that is uh, common to find in other famous uh, wines uh, from Tuscany region. Morellino is like to say Brunello di Montalcino, Sangiovese from Scalzano. Mm, so uh, this is uh, a Sangiovese grey wine uh, produced in uh, Scalzano. Plus uh, we have uh, a Vermentino blended with a 10% of Viognier. I, I mean, I'm sure that all your customers are familiar with the Pinot Grigio. Yeah, but uh, when they will drink this, uh, when, they, when they are going to drink this uh, white grape, uh, they will fall in love. I mean, one of the risks is that you can get addicted by this uh, clean uh, <laughs> mineral white wine. It's fantastic with food, uh, it's uh, great with the fried, uh, fried stuff. Anything that is fried with this acidity leaves uh, a clean mouth. Uh, I mean, uh, you can have a perfect mouth. A bite, a glass, a glass a bite and they match perfectly together or you can have a pasta you can have appetizer you can have uh, all, all the kind of fish but even white meat you can have uh, chicken uh, you can have rabbit in italy we eat rabbit too we are good people in italy. <laughs> and uh, uh, we have a, a rosé, I mean this is the rosé season, a barbecue, uh, in, in USA you know how to do a barbecue and this is a fantastic barbecue wine, uh, drier than a lot of rosé that maybe your customer can be, be able to, mm -hmm. but um, a nice acidity, rich in flour, based 100% on uh, San Giovese. Yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful <clears throat> wine, the color is great. Okay. Pronounce this for me again. Yeah, yeah. Barbas Spanis Spinoza. Spinoza. Yeah, I'm yes. sorry. Oh, we the are, full, the full no, name. Yeah. Probably. Okay. So Barba Spinoza is the name of the wine. Is our private name. And Monteregio di Massa Marittima is the appellation. Monteregio is a castle located in Massa Marittima village. Is where I live. Is a very tiny little village of six thousand people. Now there is one less because I'm here in the USA. <laughs> so it's five thousand nine hundred ninety-nine for sure. And uh, so the complete name is Barba Spinoza Monteregio di Massa Marittima. Really bad name for an American, but what's inside will make you uh, roll your tongue in a wonderful way, <laughs> in a much easier way after you drink a couple yeah, of glasses. You, you will be able to pronounce Barba Spinoza Monteregio di Massa Marittima. <laughs> you have to imagine, Barba Spinoza is the, is, uh, the um, 
a character of a novel book written by my great grandfather, and uh, there is this story with the two magicians. And Barba Spinoza is the bad wizard, with, that means literally speaking, a thorny beard man. So like Gandalf, uh, you have mm -hmm. to imagine this uh, uh, this old man with a long white beard <laughs> drinking a glass of wine and you smell the tobacco, the, the spicy and the leather that are exactly what should remind you when you drink a glass of this wine. An old man with a long thorny beard. Even it. for the women it's fine. Yeah, it is not, oh, yeah. not forbidden to drink it if you don't have a long <laughs> thorny beard. <laughs> Absolutely. The and big brother of a young Morel of a classic Morellino. Okay. 90% Sangiovese, 10% Merlot and Cabernet. It comes from completely different vineyards, lower production per hectare. I mean, if we blend, if we put a young Morellino, we put in barrique, we kill the wine. I mean, we work very hard in the in the vine in the vineyards to produce good fruit. And so the wine is made by fruit. You want to taste the fruit in the glass. We focus a lot on this red fruit this freshness uh, when we drink one of our wines and we want to retaste it uh, when it's in the glass. If we take the young Morellino and we put in the barrique, we kill. We start with uh, a stronger wine, a different production, more complexity to make a wine that is uh, perfect for the barrique. And the barrique shouldn't cover the taste of the wine but should help the wine to be uh, rounder, to be smoother and more ageable. There is a chemical process uh, when you put a wine in barrique, I'm not a chemical I will make it easy, but the molecule of the oxygen takes by hand the molecule of the color and the molecule of the flavor. They create a stronger molecule that rolls in your tongue, doesn't pass through, and is a stronger connection that is more ageable. And when you watch, uh, why right before you drink a wine, you watch the color. When you watch a color and you see something dark, you imagine normally that a darker color you have a strong nose and so on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the, the meaning, uh, the purpose of a good use of a barrique is to make this connection stronger to make the wine uh, more edible for the future. So it's a wine that if you drink now is perfect, is good. If you discover an old bottle of this wine uh, somewhere in your wine cellar, you are fortunate, you are lucky. I mean, uh, it's a great uh, experience uh, when it's aged. You can really age as long as you want. In 2007, uh, we had a wine tasting and one of our customers uh, was excited to share with my father the table. Uh, we did this wine event and he brought a bottle of this wine 1990. Wow. My father was scared because it was the second vintage of production, the 1988, then 1990, with uh, just Sangiovese, with a few experience, not enough knowledge. He was expecting to drink, uh, honestly, not a great wine. Right. He was surprised by the quality. We started with a good, balanced wine and it was amazing after 17 years. Mm, so when uh, you start with the good wines uh, and you keep in a correct way, you, it will be a great satisfaction if, even if you can uh, wait and drink. All these wines are good now, but will be great uh, after some years in the cellar. Like you said, it's all, it's all about the fruit. Now, uh, remind me again what the aging specifications are for Reserva and uh, Scansano. Yes, a Morillon di Scansano uh, can be produced uh, completely without uh, barrique or with some barrique, uh, but uh, for a short period and it, so you have to call it classical, it's okay. a young ver what I call young version, mm -hmm. the regular one. Uh, you can use the word reserva when you spend at least one year in barrique and uh, you can't release before two solar years since the harvest. Okay. If you want to wait a little more, no one complains. Sure, so it's got to be two years, they could do it all in barrique, uh, yes. but at least yeah, one year. At, exactly, at okay. least one year all in barrique. It's cool. all bureaucracy, but <laughs> it's the Italian part of bureaucracy. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you guys for watching, and if you want to come try the Morris Farms wines, they're here at Wines by Jennifer. Thank, thank you, you, Julia. Thank you.